Okay, a little something of how perspective works. Uh, see the red and the yellow line. The yellow line is your eye height. Uh, the red is the ground plane. And the ground angles up. It visually angles up to your eye level. It's on a trajectory. So uh, the way perspective works on a flat plane is that um, where that intersects, the ground plane and your eye plane intersect, is where the horizon will form because that's as far as you can see. You know what I mean? The ground comes up like a big wall. It's a big ramp. And when it gets to your eye level, you can't see any further. You cannot see any more ground, or in this case, any more water. You can see beyond it, but the bottom portions of things are blocked from view. Um, so that's the reality of our vision. Wow, look how that water ramps up to your eye level, and it forms a wall. Incredible zooming in on that horizon. Notice the buildings behind it, the lower portion is blocked. That's due to perspective. To explain this uh, illustration briefly, um, when they say they see curvature when they're looking at the buildings and they're saying because the lower parts disappear, they're calling that curvature, that would be on the Z axis, that's from our eyes to the horizon and beyond. And the x-axis, these are the two that we're concerned with, the z and the x. The x-axis is the horizon, or our horizontal axis. And the x-axis is the one that we don't see any curvature on. They claim to see it on the z, but they say, oh, you can't see it on the x. Well, you should and you must see it on the x, and yet we do not. Okay, here we are looking over the bay. I have it mocked up here so you can... Um... I have the X, Y, and Z axis, and I got a line across the horizon. And you'll notice I have a guy over there on the right-hand side of the screen, and he's looking across to the left. Uh, so the point of this is, is that here we are looking across this patch of water, and the guy on the beach here says he sees curvature because the building's way off in the horizon. Once you zoom in, the lower parts disappear, so he's claiming curvature on the Z axis. Yet... Um, we take this guy over here to the right, and let's say he's doing the same exact thing. He's looking across the same patch of water, and he sees buildings off in the distance, and the lower portions disappear, and he's claiming curvature. Now, his z-axis axis is our x-axis. You see what I'm saying? So, um, what I'm going to do here in a second is I'm going to zoom in on this whole, uh, the zoomed out shot of the uh, horizon, and we're going to scan it from right to left, and we're going to show that there's no curvature on the x-axis. Yet, there should be curvature, and there must be curvature on the x-axis, because that would be someone else's z-axis. Like, for instance, if he's looking at our z-axis, that's his horizontal axis, and he should see curvature, because it's a ball, remember? But we don't see that. So here we go. Okay, so on the next uh, slide, I'm going to... Uh blow up the slide, and I'm going to zoom into the horizon, and we're going to put a straight line against it, and we're going to scan it from right to left, and we're going to see what it looks like. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Look for any separation between the horizon and the straight yellow line, especially at the beginning of the picture and at the end, or the right side of the picture. That's where they say you'll see curvature. So we look, and we have, uh, I put a little gap between the line and the horizon, and there we go. Looks perfect. Okay, and we're going to maintain that gap all the way across. You know, I can't believe they try to get away with this. You know, they say you can't see curvature, but then they see the building's lower portions disappearing and they yell curvature. But here we are. Here's the horizon. Nice long patch of horizon. And let's look at the end. Perfect. Not an ounce of curvature. Okay, I just want to say a word about... Um, Zooming in with a telescope, there are people that think uh, that I've spoken to that uh, if you use a telescope, your horizon will be further. The stronger the telescope, the further the horizon will move away from you. Well, that's not the case. Um, the horizon is determined and formed by the ground visually angling up to your eye level. As you see in the uh, beginning of the video here where he's zooming in across the water, you can see a horizon form, and then as he keeps zooming in, the horizon doesn't get further away. The horizon gets closer, and it gets bigger. He's zooming in on the horizon. That horizon is formed, whether you're looking at it with the naked eye or a telescope. Um, all of the telescope allows you to do is to 
see it larger. See this uh, picture on the top here? If the lines were parallel and perspective wasn't a reality, then yeah, the stronger the telescope, you could just see parallel to the ground. But the fact is, perspective causes the ground to visually angle up. And where that intersects is your horizon, and it's regardless of whether or not you're using a telescope. Parallel lines do not angle or converge towards the ground, nor do they angle towards the ceiling, nor to the left or right. They angle to the eye level of the observer. This image is a product of our eyes. These are horizontal parallel lines, yet we see them not as parallel, but on an angle towards a point in the distance. Now, of course, we know that they are parallel, but they visually are not. Here you can see parallel lines made up of bricks on the walls. The wall on the left, though, is headed out towards the horizon and all the lines angle toward the eye level of the observer. The bottom ones angle up and the top ones angle down. This is a great illustration of how the, all the lines angle to your eye position. You can't deny it. All the lines converge at a center point on the horizon called the vanishing point. Parallel lines above it angle down, the lines below angle up, the sides angle in. The vanishing point is the intersection of the horizontal and vertical axis of our eye position. It's parallel all the way out, parallel with the ground. That's why I say you can't look down at the horizon, because the horizon angles up to your eye level. The, the two, your eye level and the ground plane, are parallel all the way to the horizon. But it's the bottom ground plane that angles up to your eye level. And here's another one. You can see the water ramp up to the eye level, and the building beyond the horizon has its lower portions obscured. It's kind of like putting your thumb out at arm's length and putting it level with your eyes. You can block things much bigger than your thumb. Um, that's due to perspective. And the same happens here. The further away that building is, the more of it gets blocked, starting from the bottom.